statistics help in evaluating the world's numbers. Officially, it is defined as the collection, organization, and interpretation of numerical data. Measuring the central tendencies and spread of data is the topic of the first section. And the first measure we'll study is the mean. Frequently known as average, the mean of a set of data is found by adding and then dividing. It is computed by using the equation mean is equal to s over n, where s is the sum of all numbers and n the number of observations. For example, Roberto's exam grades for a math class are as follows. Find the mean. First, organize data from lowest to highest. Number of observations, in this case exams, is 10. Add all numbers, 784. Divide by 10. The mean is 78.4. Another example. In the previous exercise, what grade should Roberto earn in the final exam to increase the mean of the scores to 80? The sum of his first 10 exams is 784. The sum of 10 exams plus final is 784 plus x, where x is the grade he needs for the final. The new mean is 80. New numbers of exams, n equals 11. So, 80 equals 784 plus x, divided by 11. Multiply across. Subtract. x equals 96. Roberto must get at least 96 on the final to get a mean of 80. Let's define the median now. After organizing the data from lowest to highest, the value in the middle of the data is the median. Officially, it is the middle value in a distribution, above and below which lie an equal number of values. For example, find the median of the following observations. First, organize data from lowest to highest. Number of observations, 11. Because it is an odd number of observations, the median must be the sixth number. Five above and five below the median. Answer, 45. When the number of observations is even, the median is found by averaging the two closest numbers to the center of the data. For example, find the median. First, organize data from lowest to highest. Number of observations, 10. The closest number to the center are 75 and 80. Add both and divide by 2. Answer, 77.5. The last measure we'll study here is the mode. The mode is the value occurring most frequently in a series of observations. For example, find the mode of the following data. First, organize data from lowest to highest. Number of observations, 12. The value occurring most often is 7.2. It shows up three times. A set of data could have multiple modes. Bimodal, two modes. Trimodal, three modes. Or no mode at all. Having no mode or multiple modes conveys a negative effect on central tendencies. Let's talk about central tendencies now. A set of data is said to have central tendencies if the value of the mean, median, and mode are the same or nearly the same. For example, is the data in the previous example displaying central tendencies? The mean is 82.4 divided by 12, or 6.9. The median is 6.6 .6 plus 7.2 divided by 2, or 6.9. The mode is 7.2. The mean and median show exact central tendencies, and the mode is off by only plus 0 0.3. Answer, the data shows central tendencies. Another example. Does the data show central tendencies? First, organize data from lowest to highest. Number of observations, 10. 
The mean is 784 divided by 10 or 78.4. The median is 75 plus 80 divided by 2 or 77.5. There are two modes, 73 and 80. Answer, the mean and median show central tendencies for the data, but the mode does not. Now let's talk about the spread of data. One way to measure data spread is by computing the range. The range is found by subtracting the lowest value from the highest value. The spread illustrates how far the data goes. For example, find the range for the following sets of data. First set, range is 100 minus 55 or 45. Second set, range is 88 minus 3 or 85. Third set, range is 9.2 minus 4.5 or 